Hello Map 20-2 and welcome to your fourth lesson in measurement which is dealing with linear scale factors and perimeter. Now basically in this lesson we're going to determine how a linear scale factor affects perimeter when we do an enlargement or a reduction. This first part here I strongly encourage you to do this investigation for perimeter and the investigation for circumference. Basically you'll find out that they're the same thing as perimeter and circumference are very heavily rated. One's for a circle, one's for a rectangle or any other shape. Now, or any other polygon actually. So let's take a look at this here. It says complete the following table. Now we start off, we have a three by five rectangle. Okay? And we found the perimeter to be 16, because three times two plus five times two, because the perimeter is adding all sides, will give us 16. And we have a ratio of 2, so the sides change to 6 by 16, which gives us a prim, new perimeter, 6 times 2 plus 10 times 2, of 32. And we have my scale factor of 2, so let's try the next one. The next one is going to be 2 times 2 plus 6 times 6 plus 6, or sorry, 2 times 2 plus 6 times 2, which will give me a total of 16, because that's 4 plus 12. Okay? Now we want to increase the scale factor by 3. So this is going to be now 6 by 18. So that's 6 times 2, which is 12, plus 18 times 2, which is 36, will give me 48 centimeters. Now I look at this, my new 48 divided by my old, which is 16, gives me a total of a factor of 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. Let's take a look at the next one. We're looking at 9 by 6. So 9 times 2 is 18, plus 6 times 2, which is 12, gives me a total of 30 centimeters. All right? Now, if I have that 30 centimeters, we want to, well, or sorry, now we're going to go by 1 third. My scale factor is only 1 third. So we have to go 9 divided by 3, which is 9 divided by 3, which is 3, and 6 divided by 3, which is 2, so it's a 3 by 2. Now, we want to find the perimeter, so it's 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 times 2 is 4, which gives me a total of 10 centimeters. So this is 10 over 30. Remember, we don't have to use the units because these are rate, or these are ratios. Now, we take a look at this, this is 1 over 3. And that can't be simplified anymore. Let's take a look at the next one, 3 by 12. 3 times 2 is 6, 12 times 2 is 24, and so we add those together, that's going to give me 30 centimeters. Okay? Now we want by 2 thirds. So I'm going to go 3 times 2 divided by 3 is going to give me 2, and then we have 12 times 2 divided by 3 is going to give me 8. Now let's see what is this one. 12 or sorry, 2 times 2 is 4, 8 times 2 is 16, add those together, and I'm going to end up getting 20 centimeters as my perimeter. So my new is 20, my old is 30, which gives me a ratio of 2 over 3. Okay? So the perimeter, the perimeter scale is the same or equals the linear scale factor. It's the same, or we could say equals. Let's take a look here. Now, it wants us to look back which ones are enlargements and which ones are reductions. So if I look at P, go back here, we can sit here move this over. Let's take a look at P. P was a scale factor of 2, and that was an enlargement. Q was a scale factor of 3, and that was an enlargement as well. R was a scale factor of 1 third. And that was a reduction. And S was a scale factor of two-thirds, which also was a reduction. So that might be able to help you find something. So if it's less than one, it's a reduction. If it's greater than one, it's an enlargement, okay? So let's take a look at the second one here. It says, determine the scale factor that will transform diagram P to diagram Q. So P is, here we look at it, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's my original. And we want to go to my new, which is 1, 2, 3. 
So it is 3 to 4. So now it says, what is the rational number? Well, that's 3 over 4. That's my scale factor. Or, if you want to be specific, you go 0 0.75 and have it in decimals. Next one says, as a percent, 75%. So that one there is a reduction. Let's take a look at the next one here. It says, Sarah increased the length and width of a rectangle by 8 by 10 of a photograph of 5 to 2. So she increased it. The ratio is 5 to 2. Is this an enlargement or a reduction? This is an enlargement. Why? Because this is my new, this is my old, new to old. Okay? Calculate the new dimensions of the picture. So it's going to be 8 multiplied by 5 divided by 2, okay, inches. And then we're going to have 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 2. So what does that give me? I'm going to end up getting 20, okay? Because 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 5 is 20 inches by, divided by 2, 25 inches. And that is my new um, dimensions. Now it says, show the ratio, new perimeter divided by old perimeter is that. Well, my new, my new perimeter is going to be 20 multiplied by 2 plus 25 multiplied by 2 all over. Now, what are my old dimensions? 2 multiplied by 8 plus 2 multiplied by 10, right? So that's the formula for perimeter. It's going to be a perfect rectangle, unless if it's some kind of weird picture that I've never really seen. And we keep on going. This is going to be 40 plus 50 is 90 all over. Here, we're going to end up getting 16 plus 20, 36. Okay? And if we simplify these, both of these could be, will give us the same as 5 over 2. You just punch that into your calculator and hit the fraction button if you really want to see. And that is it. Okay? Hopefully you understood this. Good luck as you work on your assignment tomorrow.